Hello! I have been asked to do a bookshelf tour by a couple of people, like not a lot of people, it's not hotly demanded or anything, but you know, a few of you want it and I'm bored, so uh, I guess let's do that. So the thing to note is that I don't actually have a bookshelf, I just have my dresser here that I stand in front of, so you've all seen it before, and I just stack stuff up. And I, I actually have two rows, I just removed the first one so you can see this back row real quick. So, yeah, it's just a pretty big mix of stuff I've bought over the years, and I don't really organize it based on genre or anything. I try and uh, get all of a series together, like you can see here I have all of A Song of Ice and Fire, and, uh, and I try and divide it up based on a uh, size after that. And actually, you can kind of see with A Song of Ice and Fire here, the uh, Game of Thrones one has a different uh, cover uh, style than the others, and that's just because I had one that had that cover style a while ago, but then one of my friends borrowed it and never gave it back, and if you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> and, uh, that's okay. No no hard feelings. And then I just have, you know, other stuff I've reviewed over the years. I got Inheritance, which I talked about a little bit. And here, these are, like, these are called Michigan Chillers, which are basically just goosebumps, except they're exclusively in, uh, Michigan, which, I don't know, I, I would have gotten rid of those years ago, but they're, like, a gift for my sister, so, like, you know, keep them. And then I got, you know, The Walking Dead, a whole bunch of that, and this isn't the entire, uh, series, but I have read the entire series. And then just, you know, some young adult stuff. There's Shadows of the Conqueror. Here's the uh, fighting fantasy books that I talked about a couple months ago. Uh, I got a little bit of manga. And then over here, it, there's, you know, some more fantasy and everything. There's some history books. Just, you know, a, a good uh, mix of a lot of different stuff. So now I just put all the stuff in front, in front again. And so this one is a little bit different. This is where I have most of my comics and graphic novels. So over here I have Killer Be Killed, uh, Scene of the Crime, some Miss Marvel stuff, and uh, you know th those are like just the pretty much all the Western comics I own, other than The Walking Dead. And then over here I have a little bit more manga. I have all of Gunblaze West and some Ruroni Kenshin. And in my defense, I did buy those before it became known that the author's a pedophile. So you know. Uh, I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry if you just had to find out that way. Um, uh, but then, I also have some weirder ones over here. Like, I have Rin, Tongue, and Dorner here. And that one is written by a guy, he's, I forget his name, but he's the same guy that wrote From the Arms of the Sea, which is just famously terrible. And what he does is he'll self-publish stuff, and then he will go to college campuses and hand out a bunch of copies for free, so that's why I have that. And in fact, there's a uh, shelf at my school's library, where you can just, it, it's like a book exchange, you know, you just put old stuff there and then pick up some old stuff other people leave there. There's like five copies of that right there. So, I don't know, do with that info what you will. And then I got, you know, some David Weber, some other stuff I haven't re gotten around to reading yet. And then in the middle I've got basically just The Expanse and uh, Stormlight Archive. And I don't have, I don't own all of The Expanse, because I bought the first book, and then I read a whole bunch of them uh, from the library, and then by the time uh, Babylon's Ashes came out, I had caught up, so the only way I could read that is if I bought it, so that's just what I did with that and with all the others. And then, uh, back over here, you saw the comics, uh, there's just some more, uh, here's some history books that I got, and I actually wound up buying all those for school, but I just kept them afterwards, because I actually found I enjoyed them a lot. And then there's just some more, uh, you know, miscellaneous stuff. The Jedi Path, uh, the first Island in the Sea of Time book. I have all the Mistborn stuff here. Uh, the first book is actually missing because I'm letting a friend borrow that. And uh, it's a different friend from the one that didn't get back Game of Thrones. Don't worry. And uh, I don't really have any explicitly, like, political books or anything over here. It's mostly, like, history and fiction and mostly fiction. Uh, the only one I have... Is this, this really thin one here is uh, War is a Racket by Smedley Butler. And um, this isn't everything, because, uh, like I said, I just don't have room here, so we're going to move to the next area. So all of this stuff I usually have in a different area, but I can't really film there, so I just moved it over to my bed for a moment. And so here I just have all the uh, Percy Jackson stuff and the Heroes of Olympus stuff, and I have two of the uh, uh, Magnus Chase books. I only ever actually read the first one, like, uh, people kept commenting on my Rick Riordan video, because that one, you know, got big a few months ago. People kept commenting, why didn't you talk about Magnus Chase? It's like, because I haven't read the whole series, and... I don't know, I, I mean, I'm, I keep meaning to get around to it at some point, I just... 
like I've kind of outgrown the series a bit. So I just I just haven't, and I still own all these. I might give them away to like my nephew or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And I used to have Kane Chronicles, but you know I I did give it to him. So there's that. And then here we have the uh, Starfire series, which is four books here. That's a uh, military sci-fi, which I have talked about a little bit before. I have like a whole video script already written out for them about how uh, unpleasant some of the messages that it sends are, but like that's that's probably not going to come out until I don't know. I'm thinking February. It might be this month. We'll see. And then you know, Memory of Light, final book, Wheel of Time. Uh, it's the only one I actually own because. Well, I, I borrowed all the other ones from the library, kind of same as The Expanse, but, you know, it's yeah, it's Memory of Light. Like, if you aren't familiar with it, uh, read Wheel of Time. It's a good series. And then over here, we have this pile that fell over. Uh, so we have Arcanum Unbounded, which, like, yes, I did get around to reading Mistborn's Secret History. I'm just not sure how to talk about it yet. Uh, and then I have The Disaster Artist, which is a pretty fun book, actually. It's all about, like, the making of The Room. And if you don't know that, then just Google it. It's interesting. And then I have a World War Z Zombie Survival Guide and Vampire Combat Manual, which is like a poor man's ripoff of the Zombie Survival Guide, but you know, it's still decent. And then I have right here the Zombie Chronicles, or most of the Zombie Chronicles, uh, because, you know, this is actually only half the books. There's 12, and I have six of them, the first three and the last three. And, well, I mean, I, I, I'm going to talk about that later, but, you know, it's just like... Yeah, I love Darren Shan. He's still one of my favorite authors, so it feels good to actually buy his work and support it. But that's not all. There's one more. And here we have the final area, which is just this region where I put much bigger books, like atlases and stuff, and I don't, I don't know how good the lighting is, sorry. But um, <clears throat> this area in the middle that I removed, this is where all my uh, yearbooks go from like middle school and high school, and I removed those because I just don't want the internet knowing where I went to school. <clears throat> and then... Over here on the left, all this is just Calvin and Hobbes. Like, just, the days are just packed, uh, Homicidal Psycho Jungle Cat, Weirdos from Another Planet, like, just all that stuff. There's just nothing but Calvin and Hobbes, because Calvin and Hobbes is amazing. And then here, I have The World of Ice and Fire, which is just, like, the big guidebook to the world outside of Game of Thrones. It's mostly focused on Westeros, because it's, like, you know, from the perspective of the uh, Maesters of the Citadel, so you know, there's that. And then, on the far end here, I have this very out-of-date, very beat-up atlas. Like, you can see the cover is, like, torn apart, and on the inside, a lot of the pages are pretty messed up, too. But, uh, it's a very out-of-date atlas, because it still has, like, Yugoslavia and shit on there, so... Yeah. And now it's not moving in place. Whatever, I'll do that after I'm done filming. And then, all these, though, are RPG books. So, these first two here are Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. I have the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Player's Handbook. I don't have the uh, Monster Manual, uh, just because I haven't gotten around to buying it, and I haven't really done much DMing lately, so if I ever get back into that, then, uh, well, I'll probably buy it, <laughs> or maybe I'll get it as a gift or something, I don't know. And then, here we have Starfinder, which I haven't actually played. Like, I played Pathfinder, which Starfinder is just like a science fiction version of it, but, you know, I just haven't gotten around to it. And then I have the... Dragon Age RPG here, which, you know, same story, I haven't gotten to play it yet. And then, the last one is the Wheel of Time RPG, which is, uh, from what I understand, it's basically just a modified version of D&D 3.5, which I have played a little bit, so I've kind of played that one, but none of my friends are Wheel of Time fans, so I haven't. Anyways, that was my bookshelf tour. If you enjoyed it, uh, great. If not, then... Also great, uh, I, I don't normally do this type of thing, but, you know, people asked about it, so I figured, eh, why not? And patrons, and, I don't, you just, you're, there's your names, cool. Uh, this, this is a short video, you get this a day early, you don't need your name set, so, <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyways, bye.